So in today's video, we are going to deep dive and I'm going to give you all the juicy details from what I have figured out. Number one thing that they say is just use less cleaners. So we tend to, I don't know about you, when you're washing a load of laundry, you fill the cap all the way up. You don't have to. When you have a small load of laundry, you don't need to fill the cap full of liquid. You don't need a full pod every time. So just use less. Use concentrated formulas that you can just refill your same bottle so you're not wasting those are the things that can help the environment and then buying those safer choice products is the way to save your family all right so i was thinking like okay so what are some things that diy pro products that we would make and use well baking soda it does help with decreasing and deodorizing you know the viruses and things like that so baking soda is amazing but if you mix it with certain things you definitely get a chemical reaction and it's that chemical reaction that becomes dangerous to you you know in the long run so you have to be very careful about that the surprising thing for me was essential oils according to you know the research that i did I thought that like thieves, I've heard that for years, how amazing it is. And there is some cleaning to that, but the actual essential oil is not necessarily a great cleaner. It's the things that you add to it that make it a great cleaner. But it definitely is a mood booster. It definitely helps with fighting off, you know, immune issues and things like that. So I think that it does add a little something. But when you're talking about killing the germs on things, it's not necessarily the end all be all. So remember, you're going to add it as an additive. You're not going to use that 100% for cleaning for sure. And you want to make sure that you're buying pure essential oils. There's a lot of brands out there that add a lot of carrier oils to that. So you have to be very careful. And I don't support MLMs. And the two big essential oil companies are MLMs. In fact, one of them it's all up in the news right now. There's a lot of bad things coming on with one of them. So just uh, be cautious if that's the route you're taking. Not that I don't own some and I will continue to use what I have, but I'm not going to support that anymore. I'm going to find alternatives. And as I do, I'm happy to share what I find. All right. So let's talk about that Castile soap. Again, 100% all natural, perfectly safe around kids and pets. You can use it on your body for shampoo, body wash, things like that, but also for cleaning. But remember that um, you never want to mix it with vinegar. So the reason why you don't want to mix it with vinegar is because they cancel each other out. Vinegar is an all natural product and the Castile soap is based off of the same kind of ingredients. And so the two of them, they don't get stronger when you add it. They actually cancel each other out. So you're better off using each one independently than to use the two mixed together. And you can also mop just using three gallons of hot water to about half a cup of Castile soap. And evidently that is good. Uh, there is one caution to that. It's perfect for most surfaces even hardwood floors, but if you have waxed hardwood floors, you don't want to use that because it can actually remove the wax. So you want to be careful. You always want to know what kind of floors and what kind of counters you have because, you know, some, some countertops, you cannot add vinegar to it. It damages the surface. So you want to make sure before you go all natural, making things at home that you know what products you're using them on so that you can be um, kind of doing the right thing there. Remember, the best thing that you can do if you want to support me, I mean, I would love for all of you to join my Patreon where we can be one on one. We can really clean and go together. But the conversation does not stop. Make sure that you tell people to come back and check this out because no one's talking about this. We need to talk about it. Open up the conversation and make sure that your loved ones are being safe and that, um, you know, we can continue trial and error. It's a community. I'm going to pop up my Facebook group really quickly. If you want to join us over there, we're always talking about, I think that we need to like quit being so worried about diversity and start talking about unity. And so over on my group, 
we have people from all around the world and everybody has the same problems and we're all just trying to do our best. And so I definitely think that if you can, you know, just focus on the problem at hand, which is taking care of your, your family, your homes and doing the best for them, then I would love to see you over there and make sure you say hi that you came from the video. Until next time, guys, let me close us in prayer. Father God, thank you so much for the amazing community that you are growing and that we can have an open conversation without having any strife, without having any, you know, disagreement. We can all come with an open mind. We can do the research. We can make choices for ourselves without it being a big deal. But Father God, the most important thing is that we are wise and we seek the truth and that we do all that we can to level up and be 1% better for our homes, for our families, but also for ourselves, Father God. We need to take care of us and we need to do that so that we can continue to make a positive impact in this world. So I pray that this is the beginning of the conversation and I give it all up to your glory and honor. Thank you so much, Father God. Amen. All right, guys, have a blessed day and I will see you. I've got a video dropping on Thursday.